Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So now in this one, I will be talking about the top five best special moves in this game in Mortal Kombat 11. Now, this is my opinion. Like I said in my other top five videos, this is my opinion. If you have a different opinion, you know, be sure to tell me down in the comments. And if you do enjoy this video, drop it a like. It really does help out. You know, if you're new, please do subscribe. That always helps out. And uh, yeah, let's get into this video. At number 5, I put Aaron Black's Scud Shot. Now, Aaron Black's Scud Shot is really good um, because, first of all, it's really good for counter zoning. If you're fighting a Jade player, you're fighting a Robocop player, Robocop is practically useless against Aaron Black if he's running Scud Shot. Any zoner will just be useless against him. Aaron Black is one of those few characters that barely requires meter. His combos don't require meter, his main combos don't require meter. So a lot of the times you can easily just burn meter. Also, Scud Shot keeps him safe. Now this is very important because he has a two back two 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 string and he can go into Scud Shot and he is completely safe. Scud Shot is really good also for pressuring your opponent who's far away. So let's just say you have Scud Shot ready, they'll be scared to zone because if they zone, that amplifier is gonna come out any second and it's gonna hit them. So Scud Shot's really good. It's it, it's a must if you're playing Aaron Black in my opinion, and it's a really good special if if you could run a scud shot on every character it would be so good because zoning would just not be an issue for you then so that's what i have to say about scud shot it's a really good counter zoning tool keeps him safe and overall applies pressure on your opponent so yeah let's move on to number four at number four i just had to put terminators terminate now but if you don't know what terminate terminate does it basically gives him armor so he is immune to strikes kicks punches grabs whatever special moves he's completely immune now i do know that armor break does exist in this game but a smart terminator player would not just randomly do terminate a lot of terminator players if they're running terminate they will do it in the corner where they know you don't have enough time to get your armor break out they'll trap you in and you can't do anything plus some characters just don't have good armor breaks where you can't do anything uh, such as raiden raiden's armor break uh, you'll never be able to get a Terminator player because Terminator can't jump anyways while terminating so Yeah, that like some characters are completely use useless Armor breaks do exist, but a lot of them are really slow such as let's just say Scorpion's back three Scorpion's back three is pretty slow Sub-Zero's forward four is pretty slow some characters like that and You're not gonna be you're not gonna be able to land them if Terminator's close up Overall Terminator's Terminate move is very strong makes him invincible he does take damage but he does have armor and most armor breaks are slow enough or they won't reach him so this move is still pretty good even though armor breaks exist so yeah let's move on to number three at number three for one of the best special moves in this game has to be kung lao's dive kick now what makes kung lao's dive kick so good kung lao's dive kick is super fast now it's super fast it also has a lot of range and uh, it's a really really good anti-air uh, tool now the thing is with most characters a lot of characters they jump on you with kung lao if he jumps on you you cannot you cannot anti-air anti-airing a kung lao is practically impossible because of how fast his dive kick is his dive kick also gives him crushing blows easy crushing blows and it also finishes his combos it's also his armor break which is pretty easy and um kung lao a lot of kung lao players they finish their combo with their dive kick anyway so they can easily get their armor break kung lao's dive kick is also a really 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 good with punishing tool now a lot of kung laos what they'll do is they'll jump back the opponent tries to do something oh dive kick uh, it has a lot of range and even from a far distance you can easily do the dive kick if he's around jumping distance and you're trying to zone him well it's not going to work out because kung lao's dive kick just has so much range it goes so far and if he does that over and over again he can easily get easy crushing blows so overall kung lao's dive kick is super fast has a lot of range it's his armor break you cannot anti-air him because of this dive kick and also it ends combos overall the dive kick honestly carries a lot of kung lao players in this game and uh, yeah that's my opinion on it and uh, yeah let's move on to the number two best special move in this game at number two i had to put a sub-zero slide now what makes sub-zero slide so good first of all sub-zero slide is super fast 
in a laggy connection it's almost unreactable and secondly it's a low now if you compare that to Duke Kang's Dragon Kick that is a high so you can easily duck it with Sub-Zero you cannot duck it and people can't hop it you know you don't know when it's gonna come out also Sub-Zero slide has so much range it honestly it has so much range people can people just YOLO Sub-Zero slide from so far away and it's just super fast it's also really good for punishing if your opponent's like I think 12 minus 12 you can easily punish them with the slide it also finishes his combos and uh, also it gives him the huge 50% combos in the corner his slide gives him insane damage 50 like 5% you can get in the corner with his massive damage if you're running rising ice now because of sub-zero slide range sub-zero can cover a lot of distance he can almost full screen slide this is really good because he can uh, counter zone his slide also goes under high projectiles and this is very important if the opponent's spamming projectiles you just go under their projectiles most moves like this that go really far such as Liu Kang's Dragon Kick, Raiden's Thunderfly, stuff like that. That doesn't go under projectiles but Sub-Zero does go under projectiles which is very important for counter zoning. He also has its Ice Ball. Sub-Zero slide because it is a low it also close up creates really tough, really tough mix ups I guess you can say for the opponent to block. Now his first one being his forward 2 into slide. A lot of the time people would just expect a uh, forward 2, um, 4. But you know, forward two slide comes out and it just catches them by surprise. Now it's not really a mix up, but the amount of times this has caught people out is crazy. And uh, yeah, Sub Zero Slide overall, really, really strong special move. If you could put Sub Zero Slide on any character, they would easily go up a, a couple of tiers, in my opinion. And yeah, let's move on to the best special move, in my opinion. At number one, I had to put Shiva Stomp. Shiva Stomp is beyond broken in this game. Shiva Stomp, even pro players, they get destroyed by Shiva Stomp. Now, one of the main things about Shiva Stomp is it is an unblockable. Now, people do say you can move out the way, but most Shivas, they can, they run enhanced drag and drop and they can change direction, they can delay it. So a lot of stuff like that just won't work. Now, what, what also makes Shiva so strong is her other special moves can make really really difficult mix-ups for the opponent let's just say she's sitting in the back she's spamming fireballs and you want to zone you try zoning nope you get stomped let's just say you're in the back and you're like all right stomp's gonna come any minute now i'm getting ready to move no she'll just keep spamming her tremor move and then you're like okay well she's gonna spam her tremor i should probably jump you try jumping boom stomped there's so many mix-ups that she can create like as you can see back here this is a clip from my friend playing against a shiva you can see shiva's absolutely broken every time she's back there it's just a massive massive mind game with shiva also um you know her, her zoning is some of the best in the game once you're stuck in an animation shiva will just uh spam that stomp and there's no escaping it also a lot of what a lot of shiva players will do is they will knock you down and then stomp so which means that by the time you're up you're gonna get stomped you're not gonna have enough time to move unless if you're running certain special moves such as Raiden's storm cell what some of the smartest shiva players will do is they will gain uh, plus frames on you plus 16 let's just say for example and they'll try stomping by the time you're up boom you're stomped or if you're knocked down and you're like getting ready you're like all right she's gonna stomp now tremor and her fireball is just broken that's that's literally it you don't even need any skill to play shiva as long as you learn the tremor doesn't take much skill tremor and the uh fireballs and the uh, stomp you're good like nothing nothing can stop um shiva so overall what makes shiva stomp so good is it is an unblockable already that's challenging you might think all right move out the way she also has the main thing is she has other moves that support her stomp just the tremor and the fireballs if you're getting ready for her to stomp you're just scared when she's when she's at full screen you're scared should you zone or should you not zone and if you do zone you either get tremored fireball or stomped and yeah that's my opinion on it i think shiva stomp is probably the best special move in this entire game and uh, yeah this is my list for the best special moves in this game if you have any other opinions be sure to let me know down in the comments and if you did enjoy drop it a like subscribe to the channel and yeah i'm gonna roll the outro now I'm gonna go